Going back 19 years, I still remember the overwhelming feeling that inundated me. I had almost completely lost my ability to communicate. My conversations were reduced to superficial hello and small talks. The only worst feeling was, in six months I will start my doctoral degree. Have I lost my mind? In the first days of March of 1993, I used to think about the dimension of my decision of coming to another country, to pursue a dream of getting a graduate degree. However, to do that, I had to leave my country, where I was very successful and well-related, and immerse myself in another culture. Of course I knew that there was a strong relationship between language and culture of a place. But as we do with so many things we know, most of the aspects I had taken for granted. I will adapt, I used to think, but I did not know how lost I would feel. To compensate, I used to study day and night. Being a non-traditional student led me to become friends with the teachers of the Intensive English Institute at the University of North Texas. They used to draw the learning curve for a second language and push me to go home and leave the lab where I used to spend endless hours exploring every tool available to learn English. Grammar drills, listening comprehension exercises, pronunciation, to name a few of the computer-based resources they had available. Much to my delight, the intensive six months of study paid off. I passed the TOEFL and the GRE. Nowadays, I realize what a deep impact the process of acquiring a new language had on my life and me. I have learned not only a new language, but was able to deepen my understanding of the impact language has on the formation of character of individuals and their behavior and how it influences society and the culture of a nation. Also, in the process of learning more about the U.S., I fell in love with this country. I am proud to say that I am an American citizen and often feel that I am able to appreciate and value what we have here more than the native people. I am no longer lost.